I, I came to Zambia 50 years ago and uh, my first assignment was uh, in the cathedral parish in Livingston in 1966 and uh, I stayed there for 18 years. After Livingston I was assigned to the Mungu Teacher Training College where I spent uh, five years and then after that I got myself transferred back to Lusaka and I worked in the, what's now the St. Bonaventure College or University and I landed in a the superior job there and I stayed that for 11 years in uh, St. Bonaventure College. So uh, how did you get involved in the judo? I had an idea about judo in Ireland. I was uh, in other sports like boxing and cricket and football but I, I had an interest in judo for some reason. I felt attracted to it and I went into Park Gate Street and that was my first encounter with judo in Dublin and it's when I came to Africa then I I felt my boxing skills were not in keeping with being a, a priest uh, to be out punching and hitting fellas whereas judo was more in keeping with the cloth like you know so that's why I thought judo was nice because it's that martial arts is the queen of the martial arts where you don't kick or bite or fight or punch like you know there's no way uh, you can hurt people you're not allowed to hurt them what does it want to say that you mean one arm shoulder carry if on one say that you shoulder carry if on say that right what you demonstrate good you must check them up and you must throw them down and control them. Now, watch this, watch. Now, see the check? Legs bent. Holding the arm, catching the arm. Head back behind the stomach. And he spread out. One, two, three, as big as you can. So in judo, when you fall, you spread your feet, your hand. Good. Now, you're going to throw. You do not let go. Oh. <coughs> oh, you let go. Hold it. Here's a mistake. If you do this in concrete, your friend goes yeah. to the hospital. You have to hold on. Now, do that and hold. Oh. 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 Demonstrate the difference between a yuko, a wasari, and a nippon. Yuko, smaller throat. Now, do a wasari. Half the back. Now, that's a wasari. Now throw for a full hip on. His back completely on the floor. Throw, push. Now, you see the feet. You see what they're looking. His feet came over his head. That's the hip on. See the difference? Hip on, full. Warzari half, you go a third. So it depends on where the, your opponent's body hits the floor. You get a score. So you, so, so you, you started to do judo yourself and then you got involved in... In the coaching? And yes. Uh, One young man called Keith Featherston, and he was something like an orange belt, but he had a little bit of knowledge. So I said to him, We're going to build, we're going to build on you. And so we got in, we, and we brought children around, and we started the, the very initiation, the stages of Judah, learning how to fall, how to put on suits and tie belts, and how to break balance. We started at the very fundamentals. Judah and we built up together. Then he left the country and went to uh, Australia. So I then continued. And eventually we influenced the police to bring in top class professional Japanese. And they came in and uh, they stayed for 11 years. All I learned in Judo, I learned from the Japanese at that stage. I moved up in the, 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 the belts and uh, eventually I uh, I'm up to ninth dan, and ninth that's pretty ninth. high, you know. It is pretty high. So uh, I, I thank God for that. Yeah. <laughs> Balance is vital. See where he is. See, it's so easy just to throw. Once he's off balance, push him off, off, off like that. Now in behind, you can throw. So balance is vital. Demonstrate the movements on balance. See, his legs are always open. Legs never together. There, you see the feet together. Now that's dangerous in judo. Because as that foot goes, I fall up with that. Just keep that foot onto the other. Simple, isn't it? Hadri, just demonstrating. Tayatoshi. 
When you, when, when oh, you well, I'm going to miss my children, as it were. We'll call them all these Judo people you're watching this morning. Many of them, uh, I have been in my club and training and coaching down the years and years, and even their fathers as well, and their mothers. So, of course, I'm going to. It's like a father or a grandfather being taken away from wherever his children are and put in another place. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 